our review of the Renfe, the Spanish broad gauge system, commences with some 1965 scenes from the MLS archive. At Alsasua, 0402119 was still in service at the age of 99 years. This loco was built by the French firm of Schneider, who also built the 241P seen earlier in the programme. At the other extreme, engines resting at Miranda include a semi-streamlined 482 of 1939 and one of the famous 484s of class 242F. Next we see an XMZA 480 used on both freight and passenger work. 165 of this series were built between 1920 and 1931. 040-2432 was another MZA type, built by Henschel in 1909. Further shed visits reveal a defunct Norte 060, an MZA 480 and several Oeste 460s amongst others. One three zero two zero four two was a 19th century 260 which was built by Cockerill in 1885 for the Andaluthas Railway. In the north of Spain, an ex Santander Mediterraneo 280 pilots a Norte 480 on a heavy freight. The 280 was built in the 1920s by Babcock and Wilcox of Bilbao, while the 480 was a slightly older product from SACM. Standard 480 piloting a standard 482 presents a more modern combination. In the south we glimpse one of the 25 260s built by Nielsen's in the 1890s for the Great Southern of Spain Railway. This class remained intact and on their original duties until the mid 1960s. Also no doubt filmed in its native south, we see one of the 50 handsome Andaluthes Railway 480s which worked freight and local passenger services until the mid-1960s. Next, three 19th century Andaluthes veterans pose for the camera. 030 was a Thieves Leal 060 and this is followed by a view of an SACM 260. Thirdly, 040214 came from the firm of St. Leonard in 1891. As in France, the first part of the Spanish numbers related to the number of engine axles followed by a four-digit number, with the first digit indicating the number of cylinders. On tank locos, the four-digit part of the number began with a zero followed by the number of cylinders. The final loco seen before moving on to the more modern types filmed by David Rogers is another Andaluthes veteran, 030 Examples of this class were also active into the mid-1960s. All the remaining Spanish scenes were filmed in 1969 and in the September of that year a standard 282 is turned. 242 of these were built between 1953 and 1960. 
The main line from Miranda to Zaragoza retained steam in quantity into the 1970s and also became the last stamping ground for the 484s after they had been displaced from the Norte main line south of Miranda. We see westbound and eastbound trains in the scenic San Felices and Haro areas hauled by 141Fs and 242Fs. The F in the number denoted an oil burner. The 484s were the only Renfe engines to be afforded a green livery and this is seen to good effect as 242F2005 leaves Miranda Shed. A short time later it passes San Felices heading the 1500 to Zaragoza. In the opposite direction a 141F heads towards Miranda. The following day, 141F 2362 was on the 1500 X Miranda, again filmed at San Felices. Then come more scenes of 484s working in the same locality. Ten of these impressive engines were supplied by Macanista of Barcelona in 1955 and 1956. Moving eastwards, a 141F heads a long freight between Logrono and Castajon, and then a 484 is hardly overloaded as it leaves Calahora on the 1615 Zaragoza Bilbao. This would be electrically hauled north of Miranda. Near Santa Lina we see 141F2368 on the 1050 Lerida to Pobla service. XMZA480 240F2301 then appears on the 1510 from Lerida to Pobla. This XMZA484 tank was essentially based on the 480 seen in the previous sequence and in 1969 was one of a few remaining out of a class of 60 built in the 1920s. It is seen at Huesca north of Zaragoza working a local branch train. They weighed in at no less than 113 tonnes. Thank you. 
A brief view of a standard 241F and a withdrawn veteran at Zalagotha Campo Sepulcro shed precedes a long trek to the west into the territory of the remaining XMZA 482s working in the Salamanca area. One of these passes on a heavy mixed train followed by views of 241F 2094 about to take out the 0950 Astorga Madrid. This class had originally totaled 95 examples, but this engine belonged to a subclass of 20, which had received Daybeg feed water heaters and smoke deflectors. By 1969, all the originals and many of the subclass had gone. By this date, all the remaining steam locos on the Renfe were oil fired, the remaining coal burners having been withdrawn during 1968. The same locomotive is seen after departure from Astorga and a good impression is given of the vast bulk of these engines. The final two sequences in Spain show an XMZA 480 plodding across the empty landscape near Astorga. Despite reaching a very low ebb by 1970, steam clung on until mid-1975, by which time the fleet was down to a few 141Fs at around six depots in the west and north. At the other extreme, engines resting at Miranda in at Alsasua, 0402119 was still in service at the age of 99 years. This loco was built by the French firm of Schneider, who also built the 241P seen earlier in the programme. Our review of the Renfe, the Spanish broad gauge system, commences with some 1965 scenes from the MLS archive. include a semi-streamlined 482 of 1939 and one of the famous 484s of class 242F. Next we see an XMZA 480 used on both freight and passenger work.